you see that? Oh. But that peak, though. Look at that peak. You see that? But, oh. But that peak, though. What's good, everybody? Before this video starts, make sure you like and subscribe to the video. Also, check out my new channel. Link will be in the description. I just put up a new video with Ski Mask. It was on here for a quick second, but I took it down. I was like, nah, let's just keep everything like this on the new channel. Let's just keep it going. I didn't want to take views away from my new channel. And uh, we're just going to play around with this channel and figure out what's going on. So, enjoy. What's good, ladies and gentlemen? It's your boy, FB Aftermath. Back with another video. Want to talk to you guys about my current situation um it's funny because a while ago i think like years ago larry wills um he pulled his bicep and usually i see a lot of peg tears not too much on the bicep tears part on social media and uh <laughs> yo and i, I watched his video because i wanted to see you know what he did for rehab and things and such and uh, if we had the same uh, bicep tear and i believe it is the same he was going for a one of those boulders he was trying to pick it up and like you know he said he was uh, he was moving fast and he wasn't really uh, tight enough when he was trying to pick up the boulder and as he picked it up and it just boom and the same thing happened with me so we got this 150 pound like mattress right the box you know they said it was about 130 150 pounds it was heavy and i, I mean it had to be heavy because i mean my damn arm and um i was like you know, I'm just gonna pick it up because I didn't feel like returning the, the, the dolly. And I'm like, oh, I'm strong, blah, blah, blah. 150 pounds, I can pick that up with one arm and blah, blah, blah. Yeah, no, it's always the things outside of the gym that you have to worry about. You're so strong in the gym and you get to the outside things, even though I do functional training, mobility work and things, and you, you start to let certain body parts rest a bit or you don't, you know, take things as serious because we're all in the gym. We lift heavy amounts of weight and you know, we don't really know the underlying problems that we really have. And you know, this injury is a something that has, it just got to the point to where it's just like, all right, dude, you know what I'm saying? So it could have been, you know, repetitive benching or curling or, and I've always kind of had like a weird like shoulder issue with my rotator cuff. So it just said, yo, it's Ron, enough, my boy, enough. And I, I, this box is about this big. I went in for a bear hug, just like this, just like Larry did with the boulder. Picked it up, I barely even got it off the ground, boom. Oh my, bro, I swear, I kid you not, I couldn't, it wasn't even like pain. It was just like, it was just like, it felt like my shoulder just like dislocated. It was just a, a big pop, I heard pop. Like I had to look at the people around me like, yo, did y'all hear that shit? You know what I'm saying? And I just, uh, I had my arm and like, I was doing like this and I was like, oh, it's fine. And then I did this and I was like, oh, damn. Oh man, bro. And then, <laughs> And I hate when I get injured. I don't know about you guys, but for me, it's like when you get injured or when something happens, it, it, it's just like that's, you know, it's it, uh, and when something happens, it's like, damn, you sit there hours later and you're like, fuck, you know, I should have did this. I should have did like, you just think of stuff that you could have done to prevent the situation and then you, you know, it just kind of gets you a little heated, you know what I'm saying? Cause I'm like, damn, you know, I was on a strength roll, you know, I was doing bench three times a week, uh, deadlifts twice, squats three times a week. And like, I was, I'm, I'm here trying to get ready to jump into powerlifting, like for 2023. And like, I want my first show, you know, come in with a banger, you feel me? Like top level numbers. Um, and I'm just like, damn, bro. You feel me? And I, now I'm like, well, I, I'm, 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 I've had to tweak things up here and be like, well, you know what? It's better it happened that way than for me to be under a 500 pound plus bench press, you know, going going for a max rep or something, and it happened that way because your boy would have got guillotine style. You feel me? And you know, because sometimes I don't even be using a spotter. It could have been it could have been with 315 or 405, regardless. 
you know, things happen for a reason. And now I can like mentally work more on just like breaking down fascia and getting that mobility back. And if it feels like certain that it, it was always kind of naggy, but not to the point to where it really bothered me. You know what I'm saying? Um, it was just, it just felt tight, you know, always. Um, and now I'm just like, all right, you know what? Just a minor setback for a greater comeback. And I feel like that's what we have to consider a lot of times is just, you know, I feel like it, sometimes I'm like, damn, do things really happen for a reason? And then you kind of like sit back and you can kind of, you know, think of possibilities and you're like, well, damn, maybe this should have happened so I can have better understanding of where my body is and better understanding of, you know, what I need to do for to just completely take care of myself aside from, you know, my strength training and stuff. Um, but on a side note, I've been on a crazy conditioning, you know, like, um, like athletic workouts, plyometrics, um, trying to burn fat, things as such. And because I'm not sure when I compete, if I want to compete at 242, um, I kind of want, I want to compete at 230, but US APL doesn't have a 230. So I was thinking about dropping down to 220. Now, here's the thing. I'm strong at 220, but it's like, how strong? You know, like it's been a while since I've been 220. The last time I was 220 is when I caught COVID and I lost 20 pounds from COVID, you know? And then of course it had a lot, you know, was water weight and you know, I just was condensed and my, my face was hella skinny. And um, it's like, damn, do I catch COVID again? <laughs> no, I'm just joking. It's not the way to go. It's not the way to go. But um, I'm just kind of here giving you guys an update of what I've been going through right now. This happened two days ago. And honestly, like it's fine right now. Like. I feel like right here from the front, you can't even tell. Like here, here's a comparison. Like from the front, you can't even tell. But here's my normal. Here's my 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 regular arm. Damn, look at that right there. Okay, okay, triceps. You know, like you can slightly tell. You know, um, I was looking up things. See, like when I bring it out more, that's when you can really tell. You know, and like I can feel the muscle, like I could, it's, you know, it's the, I think the long head attachment right here. So there's two attachments for the bicep up here in the shoulder and one of them detach. So um, the fact that one of them detach, apparently I don't need surgery unless I want just like a cosmetic type thing, but I don't know, man. Do you like it? You know, I mean, I'm seriously, that peak is, that peak's peaking. That, that peak's peaking, look at this peak. Like it's cool, it's a well-rounded, well, look at this shit. Like, damn, you feel me? Titan Mountains type shit right there. <laughs> I'm just trying to be positive minded um, about it. Cause I was really, when I first looked at it, I was just like, damn, that whole looked ugly. And then I showed the boys at the gym. He was like, damn bro, what that peak though? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And uh, shit, well, yeah, like, maybe I want to hop on stage one more time. You feel me? Like, is that going to take points off and things as such? But I feel like my tattoos would be the main thing that would take points off because it's just everywhere. This one hasn't been finished for five years and being lazy about it. Uh, but shit, man, I don't know. Let me let me know what you guys think. Should I, should I try to, you know, compete at 242? Because them boys is some... Yo, Bob right now? You got Bob and Weaves? are like, and I don't know who else, are like the top 242 um, competing in USAPL. And I'm just like, damn, like, them some big bangers. The only thing I got anybody on is the bench press. And even still, Bob is literally like right there with me on the bench press. Plus his deadlift and his squat is 100 pounds heavier than mine. And I'm like, ugh. And I really gotta put some hard work and dedication to this, you know, cause I'm just going off of my normal gym visits and you know just my my own strength training and such so I mean such so um there'll probably be a big difference if I get a strength coach and uh you know you let me know let me know 242 220 uh but I'm just kind of giving you guys an update I hope you enjoyed the video don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel also catch the new videos on the other channel, which are like my collabs and, and vlog stuff, whatever. I'm still trying to decide on what I want to do for this channel. And yeah, catch you guys later. Go, go, go.